So vegan is vegetables and Gretchen. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Crumb Boss is a vegan. <laughs> Except the producer's got to be a vegan too. Hey everybody, what you're looking at right now is Beyond Beef. Plant-based ground beef. No soy, no gluten. We got some Gouda. We got some egg rolls, it looks like. Vegan egg rolls. And we've got some onions and some scallions. Peppers. 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 We just picked the pepper. Oh, we just garden. picked the pepper. Wait, who's that I hear in the distance? <laughs> it's the Crumb Boss. Hey everybody, Crumb Boss here. Soil and green. It's people. What is it? Soil and green? You never saw that movie? No. What oh, is it? God, from years ago. Oh, yeah. It's where they were having this weird alternative food source. Okay. And the guy discovered that Soylent Green was people. Soil. Soylent. What's Soylent? That was the brand. That was the name oh. of the food that they were having these people eat. It was like this futuristic dystopian world of this movie. Okay. I, I'm surprised you never saw it. But no. anyway, yeah. Soylent Green. It's people. Okay. So we're going to have, um, this is all vegan. So vegan is vegetables and Gretchen. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Crumb Boss is a vegan. <laughs> Except the producer's got to be a vegan too. Okay. So we are just sauteing up the onions and the little bit of pepper. I didn't want to overpower it with the pepper in this. Mm -hmm. um, but um, basically, did I even say what we're making? We're making <laughs> cheesesteak egg rolls. Cheesesteak egg rolls? Oh, they're so good. I made these like about a month or so ago. Okay. And I was really surprised at how delicious this is. So you, how long do you have to saute onions? Well, for? I just want to get them really cooked down. Look at that, right in the fog. It's mm -hmm. fog. Look at that lens. It's all fogged up. Where's the crumb boss? I am going to put oh, Wait, I can't see you. Hold on. There, I got <laughs> That's it. That's got a big finger smudge on it. No, it's perfect. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of salt into here. How come the salt's pink? Because it's Himalayan pink sea salt. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's got nice trace minerals in it. It's uh, like 250,000 years old from this salt mine. Oh, that's cool. So they say. Yes. Okay. So we got this. All right. So yeah. I do not have any oil in my pan. Mm -hmm. um, number one, I don't love cooking with oil. Like I said when I was making my soup, I don't add any added fat. Okay. However, this Beyond Meat yes. ground, what is it? It's loaded with fat. Oh. So it really, like, I'm not trying to say this is any but kind of... But it's made out of plants, though. It is, but it's not. This is what you call junk food vegan. So I would not make a habit out of eating this stuff because it mm. is super highly processed. Okay. It is loaded with fat. Um, okay. Because, I mean, think about it. How do you get from a soy... And, well, this is actually not even soybean. Okay. This is pea protein. Okay. But think about it. How do you get from a pea to this. Like they've got to do some super heavy duty stuff to this. Yes. To actually make it mimic a ground beef. Yes. But yes. it does taste good though. It does taste it delicious. Tastes better. It doesn't taste like um death and blood. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, basically. <laughs> Which is basically what yeah. regular ground beef is. Yes. So, um, you know, whatever you guys want to think about this, I don't make a habit of using this processed stuff, but when I do yes. want to have an all-out junk food day, um, I so will. So, wait a minute. Let me ask you a question. You cook on Gretchen's Vegan Bakery, yeah. and now you're you're going to become the cook boss, not the crumb boss? The cook boss. No, you're still the crumb boss. <laughs> still the crumb boss. We're just cooking and doing different things. Yeah. Exploring our horizons. Yeah, you know what? What else are we going to do? 2020, the world is upside down. Yes. Figured, hey, stuff, the producer, come over and let's eat some cheesesteak egg rolls. Make some soup. Exactly. Make some key lime pie. Yeah. All stick. Sounds like a perfect Saturday here pie. at crumb yeah, boss yeah, land. Yeah, yeah. You can't ask for anything better in life, <laughs> right? Look at this. We got that. All right, it's so this just really needs to kind of cook just like you would cook ground beef. Okay. So I'm just kind of cooking it up in my saute pan. I've got my onions and my peppers going. And but you haven't yet yeah, separated. Why is that? Oh, because, well, I want the onions to continue cooking and a little bit like do a caramelization. Okay. And I want the beef to cook too. So I'm just keeping it separate for now and then I'm going to mix it all in together. Okay. The crumb boss. <laughs> I don't, you keep telling me to push my hair out of my face. Well, because when you're like, talking, it's like you're swallowing uh, your I hair. I know, but I don't like being all face. Oh, who cares? Like okay, so crumb boss, what do you got in your hand? 
Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. So oh, okay. It's really just about a tablespoon that I'm going to kind of pour in here. Okay. And is that camera even on? I don't think we even turn oh, it on. Oh, yeah, we turn this one on. Okay. <laughs> we okay. still don't got it. We still don't got it. We got the second it? camera going. Yeah, okay, so that's good. It's all, all right. going there. So, like I mentioned, you can see as this is cooking, this Beyond Beef, I said it has a tremendous amount of fat in it, yes. which is why I don't love eating yeah, it on the regular. The yeah, I mean, they add coconut oil to this to make it mimic the okay. juiciness of a regular ground beef recipe. Correct. So, um, yeah, that's where all the added fat comes from. But once in a while, we could do it, and it's fine. Yes. But you can see how it's totally cooking up, and it's starting to brown, yes. and it looks like... Yes. A cheese steak. Oh, yeah, skillet, it does. Right? Now it does. Yeah, once you started mixing it in. Yeah. Look at that. But there's no cheese in it yet. No, not yet. We're going to roll That's this. That's a lot of ground beef. It is a lot. So we're, I mean, I'm going to. Is gonna, it expensive to be vegan? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. No. I don't think I spend any more now as a vegan than I did. What I mean, would you say you spend a week on groceries? For me and Duane, probably like 200 bucks a week. Yeah. Which, I mean, food is expensive nowadays, yeah. but we mainly eat... Why you know, is it so expensive? You ever oh, notice that? Yeah, I know. Right. Everything's a corrupt scam. Okay, oh boy. Let's go back to the beef. <laughs> so, all right, I'm just cooking that out and let that cook down. That looks great. What is that? This is an egg roll wrapper. Thank God they're finally vegan, so now everyone can enjoy them. So you've got your egg roll skin little egg roll paper or whatever you call this i'm just taking a little dip of water on my finger and going all the way around the edge okay and then i take a little bit of my smoked gouda cheese and i'm going to put that right in the center okay next goes my ground beef mixture yep Oops. And I tend to overstuff everything. Yes. Like that really is the key when you're making anything like raviolis or empanadas or uh -huh. whatever. Yeah. Like you're really not supposed to stuff them this much because then they'll explode. But I can't help myself. No. Um, so you're just going to fold them. It's hard to do it on video. Go ahead. No, I got that. I got that. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got this. Steph the producer is in the house. I got this. I got this. Okay. Look at that. That so looks there, cool. Fold it over. Like little pigs in a blanket. Yep. Aww. Uh-huh. Okay. And there you go. Look at that. Egg roll. Egg roll. But now what are you going to do with it? you got two of them. Yep. So what are you going to do? you going to put it in an air fryer? Yep, because I don't want to deep fat fry these, which I've done it both ways. I actually tested this recipe already like a couple, about a month ago, yeah. and I deep fat fried them. Yeah. And, of course, they were delicious because yeah. everything deep fat fried is delicious. Yes. But I just don't want all that fat, so I said, let me try it in my air fryer, which I did. Okay. And it worked. But I am going to just lightly brush each one. I mean super light. This is such a... With what? A little bit of coconut oil. Okay. Pop it in there. And that's just mostly so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And yeah. also so it does kind of get a nice brown bubble. And how color. long do you cook them for? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Turn it on. I'm going to say 10, 12 minutes. Yep. And then they'll At be done. 400 degrees is where my air fryer goes to. Okay. Let's see what happens. Ten, maybe ten minutes. We'll check them out, and then we're gonna taste them. You yes. are gonna freak out when you try this. All right, good. All right, hold on, everybody. This is getting exciting. We're in the air fryer. All right, this has not even been twelve minutes, and look at them. They, we don't need no deep fat frying in here. No. Guys, get yourself an air fryer. It is life. I'm telling you, I love this contraption. I used to say I can't live without my KitchenAid mixer, uh -huh. my food processor, of yes. course. Okay. My third is now the air fryer. It is yes. awesome. Yes. All right, so check that out. No deep fat frying, but no it is still... No deep fat frying. We got egg roll cheeseburgers. Still crispy and All vegan. Brown. All vegan. So let's just cut one in half and see what uh -huh. it looks like. Oh. Is it cooked? Yeah. yeah. Look at that, folks. That looks amazing. Yeah. Who is hungry? Check that out. Doesn't that look so good? Yeah. I like that. It looks really good. Oh, wow. Oh, just like old times. Right. Look at that. Here's the ketchup for dipping. Nice. Is it hot? It's very hot, so I don't want to eat it yet. I can't do super hot food. Okay, we're going to have to wait a good 14 seconds mm -hmm. before we touch it. In the meantime, while we were on break, 
we yes. were making all the rest of them. So actually that amount, what did it make? Two, yes. four, six, eight, ten, twelve, probably about fourteen. This whole recipe probably is gonna make about fourteen egg rolls. Wow. I don't wanna know how many calories and how much. But we're not putting is in we're this. not putting recipes on our channel. Now we'll put these recipes, yeah. vegan recipes, I'll share freely. Yes. Uh-huh. All right, let's take a break, cool them off, we're gonna eat them. Oh my god. It's not that hot. No, it's not. Okay. Mm, How is it? Good. Okay, I'm going to try mine. Here's mm. mine here. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Right? You're not that hot. No. Mm. What do you think? That's really good. So delicious. You really don't need the ketchup. Oh, I love ketchup. Mm-hmm. So, tell me what you made. Egg rolls made by the crumb boss, filmed by Seth the producer. The annoying camera person that everyone hated for years, whatever. We'll leave the recipe down below in the description box. Only if you ask for it. Only if you... And subscribe, and like, and, and go to Gretchen's Vegan Bakery. Yes. And go to Funhouse TV. And, and, and just, and just enjoy, enjoy this moment mm. of delicious vegan food. <laughs> just enjoy it. <laughs>